am I being trolled? Somebody must be trolling me because earlier today I made a video on the NASA astronauts supposedly stuck in space or supposedly stuck on the International Space Station. And I had said in that video, I bet these NASA astronauts are somewhere on Earth in the ocean thanks to a very strange and bizarre audio that was leaked where a commander on the International Space Station was facing some kind of health crisis. This NASA astronaut or this commander sound like he had a form of decompression sickness known as the bends, which refers to injuries caused by a rapid decrease in the pressure that surrounds you of either air or water. So this mainly happens to deep sea divers or it could happen to anybody in high altitudes or unpressurized air travel. So you may be saying, minutes of horror, he's an astronaut, he's in space. That would explain the decompression sickness from the pressure. There is no conspiracy here. Until you listen to the last bit of the audio where it sounds like they are going to take the commander to a hospital in Spain. And we have these flight doctors who are heading to him. To um, deprivatize at this time, just as a FYI for you, I am still about one hour um, out from MCCX. Unfortunately, we will need to keep doing the phone situation um, until I am able to be there. Um, I am currently stuck in traffic. I can, uh, while we don't have other flight surgeons on call, I, while I am stuck in traffic, I can reach out to see if there's anyone who can get there sooner than one hour. Um, that being said, there really isn't anything we could do in person that we can't do over the phone at this point. Unfortunately, um, the prognosis for Commander is relatively uh, uh, tenuous, I'll say, at this point, uh, to keep it generic. Um, so one thing, uh, I don't know if you got this uh, message before, but I did find a, through Dan, I did find a hospital in Spain that has critical care facilities and hyperbaric treatment facilities. Would you like me to give you that hospital and their phone number again? Okay, so that is San Carlos, S-A-N-C-A-R-L-O-S, in San Fernando, spelled the normal way, and that's in the province of Cadiz, C-A-D-I-Z, in Spain. And that phone number is country code 34956-819043. Again, that number is country code 34956. 819043. How copy? Copy. In the meantime, I will continue my trek in. Otherwise, I will see if a flight surgeon can be there uh, sooner. Um, and then you uh, are free to call me with any updates or any uh, changes. Which is strange because he is supposed to be in space on the International Space Station. So if he's not in space getting this decompression sickness, the only other place you could possibly be is under the water. NASA did come out and say that audio was just a training exercise, nothing to worry about. But like I had proven in that video, there's no way that audio could be a training exercise because this was released during a time when the NASA astronauts are supposed to be asleep. Not just that, but you can also hear the real concern in the flight doctor's voice. So flash forward a little bit later from that video, I'm browsing Reddit and what are people talking about today? While the NASA astronauts are reporting a bizarre sonar-like noise coming from the empty Starliner capsule. That is right. The NASA astronauts are reporting that they are hearing sonar-like noises coming from the Starliner. Hey, we've got a question about Starliner. Houston's with you, Butch. Go ahead. Uh, There's a strange noise coming through the speaker. And I didn't know if you could connect into the Starliner and let me uh, keep mic and let you hear. I don't, I don't know what, what's making it, but uh, I don't know if it's something that maybe is connected uh, between here and there, making that happen. But uh, anyway, can you do that? We can configure that, Butch. Give us a minute, and I'll call you back when it's ready. Okay. Station Houston on two. We're configured for audio via Hardline and CST. If you want to give us a call. Okay, I'm at, uh, I'm at Starliner, and how do you read? Five by five. How many? Okay, I'm going to put the mic up next to the speaker. Copy. Hear that? At negative, Butch, we did not 
hear anything. That. All right, Butch, that one came through. It was kind of like a pulsing noise, almost like a sonar ping. Yeah, I'll do it one more time, and I'll you scratch your head to see if you can figure out what's going on. Here we go. All right, over to you. Tell us uh, to figure it out. Yep, good recording. Thanks, Butch. We will pass it on to the team and let you know what we find. And, Butch, just to be make sure I'm on the same page, this is emanating from the speaker in Starliner. You don't notice anything else, uh, any other noises, any other weird configs in there? Now, people are also saying it sounds like somebody is knocking on the Starliner, but I do find it to be such a strange coincidence that today... We're talking about supposedly the NASA astronauts being underwater. And today, NASA releases audio where they're saying it sounds like the Starliner is releasing sonar-like pings. Even in this article from Fox News, it says, The Strange Noise. The noise coming from the craft speaker sounds a lot like a submarine sonar or like someone is knocking on the craft from the outside. However, the astronauts cannot hear it from anywhere but the speaker. You can hear the call to Houston that included the actual studio of the sound on the social media platform X or Twitter. Maybe you will know what it is. But if this really was an underwater sonar coming from the Starliner, it really wouldn't surprise me one bit. The NASA astronauts probably were not expecting the sonar to go off. Who knows? But in any case, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like. As any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.